today we are going to talk about love. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this is before I do and after I do. Welcome again to Bright Mom. And with me is my friend Jude Kenny. Hello. So Jude has been my friend for some time now. And if there's something I know, this girl loves her man. And they have a beautiful relationship. Like you see it when you see them. So I caught her and I'm asking her her before I do story and now that she has done <laughs> so yeah, she's doing. Yeah, she's still doing no <laughs> Not, not in the not. sense of that. Like yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize that there was no out. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I didn't realize that there, there was no breaks. Like I couldn't just up and go to my parents' house and mm. you know and say let's not just be married for about one month. I didn't realize that, but I knew that I wanted this person in my life forever. I just knew I needed this person in my life forever. He compliments me, and I wanted to be friends with this person for a long time. I wanted us to have. A, beautiful family together but the fact that I do <laughs> I do yeah. miss a lot of things so I really add a <laughs> through thick and thin I don't uh, think I understood it like no. that so. I'm not sure anybody would actually grasp what that means just by taking the ring trust me if I you see them doing yeah. oh, cry if, like seriously not everybody would not even, as in you grasp as you go along I feel so um, my parents have been married for about 40, well, over 40 years, yeah. um, and I saw what marriage was with them, and I think that was what I wanted to have. My idea of marriage is two people doing things together, you know, friends, building a home, making decisions together. That was my idea of So marriage. you pretty much had realistic ideas, like... You pretty much had realistic ideas. Thanks to your parents that they were good role models, as it were. I don't know. I met my husband on Facebook. Uh, See, social media is not always <laughs> bad guys. It's not always bad guys. Yeah. Well, at that moment, I was dating somebody. Uh, but I just knew when we started chatting that. Like, this one feels weird. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You like to it. She slid into my DM. Into my DM. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 he supported dreams that I had and he, you know, made useful su suggestions to make me better, you know, um, suggested books I could read. I mean, there was something positive in every suggestion he had, you know, he, he was either making me better or making us better. And I just knew that to grow, I needed this person. So that was it. He wasn't that guy that suggested books and he didn't read books because it's not like every guy that suggests books to you, you should follow them. <laughs> yeah. Of course I did. I did notice some things. Um, I'll be lying if I said I just saw them in marriage. I did notice some things. Okay. But there are things I knew I could live with. So they're not life-threatening. Mm -hmm. uh, I could live with them. So. So, yeah. you, so, you, so you guys see, like, it's not, it wasn't a um, blind love. No, yeah. so it wasn't it was, perfect. Yeah. I, wasn't, I didn't go into it blindly. Yeah, I thinking that, that yeah, yeah. He, he will change. No. I would change him. I just knew that, okay, if this doesn't change, I'm going to live with it. And, and it's, it's going fine. to be fine. Nobody is going to be hurt in the process. And that's very important. Like, you don't, you, you may not find, you will, you will not, it's not you may, you will not find a perfect person. But... Um, his imperfections, can you handle it? Yes. If you cannot handle it, don't think he will change. Don't start looking for projects before you enter a marriage. <laughs> like, you, are, you cannot fix any. Only God yeah. 
can fix someone so you cannot fix anybody so i like the fact that she said even if it doesn't change so yeah there's room for change but if it doesn't i can live with it and that's important and make sure it's not hurting anybody please exactly. don't die for somebody i do not die <laughs> <It's so good. laughs> Oh, I look forward to um, vacations together, having the children, um, doing chores together. You know when you're cooking and he'll just come behind you, oh you know, God. and hold your waist. Ah, did that happen? I can count the number of times. I have that that six years of marriage. Like, I'm I can count the number of times on one finger. I, 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 and it might have happened like maybe twice in my six years of marriage. Am I seven? I'm seven. So yeah, as in like in seven years of marriage, this guy has done this thing twice. Like this is what I thought. Mm -hmm. This is what I as in, that was going to be like every day. Wow. It did not happen. As in most times they're in the panel, like, yeah, okay. And it's not because they can it's not they're also tired. <laughs> it's not just, yeah, okay. Yeah, so that that like that's some reality right there. Hmm. <laughs> um so I would rephrase the question with would anything have changed if I waited five more years? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. So maybe if it happened two years before or if it happened two years after, it would have still been the same effect in marriage. Now, would I have developed myself personally more. enough more? Mm -hmm. You know, yes, maybe. So maybe if I wasn't married at the age I got married, I would have gone further to do my masters i'm not saying marriage stops that but um it slows down the process especially when you start having children it slows down the process to do it. so are you are you ready for was i ready for marriage then or, or if i waited two more years would i be ready it doesn't it doesn't change anything in the marriage but if i was looking at personally developing myself maybe waiting to you your other point you want to get to yeah but like Especially when you get married to a supportive person, the yes. truth is that you would still achieve those goals. Yes, but it may be gosh, slower, but it will be slower. <laughs> <laughs> but you would achieve it, it, it so. because it's not because anybody is holding you back, but your responsibility has yes. increased by a lot. Like you have kids before you run, before you run around with your kids. When do you want to read for your like? I'm not sure. I'm but a lot of people are crashing no, it. It's close are doing to you. It. Like, yeah, and then people are doing it. But I couldn't be more prouder. Yeah. Lots of people are. <laughs> a lot of people are doing it, but yeah, me, I'm not sure. So. Um, I don't think so, no. The person I was dating when I met my husband, maybe yes. Okay. Because I was old enough to know that this should lead somewhere. Mm -hmm. So when you met your husband, it was just it just happened. Um, I knew that I wouldn't mind spending like he was ideal for me. So I knew that this was either my last bus stop yeah. for me, yeah. So so I'll just say it wasn't our wedding, it was our parents' wedding. Of course. So um we had Way too many guests. We had over two thousand guests. It was a carnival. Yes, we had a tent and we had a hall. It wasn't like you're the, you're not the first girl. No. Jesus. And um, I regretted something about my wedding um, in that I I because we had two venues for mm -hmm. the same occasion. There was a projector in the other room. I I forgot. My husband and I forgot to come out and say hello to those in the other room, so we oh. never went there. And so a lot of people who came for our wedding didn't see us physically, and they felt okay. it's like they, they felt they were forgotten, like they were put in the other room. I we should have gone there to say hello to them, but yeah. it skipped my mind. I for, I totally forgot, and so I was just in the tent. It was a beautiful wedding, beautifully decorated. A lot of people, a lot of people I did not know. <laughs> <laughs> so there was no room to see people I knew. So people would say, I came to your wedding and I didn't see you. I mean, you know? So if I was going to do it differently, I'll do something much smaller. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's the marriage that matters. Yes, I agree. I agree. 
Hmm. Apart from the this coming to the kitchen, holding from the section. I don't think so. I think it has played out exactly how you know. Oh, so you're one lucky girl. And plus we're realistic. I think we're really realistic in your in what you were saying. <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't. I can't really remember. There are many shocks. I don't remember what the first one was. Okay, well, any shock you had in mind? Um, the first Christmas, I I wanted to go to my parents' house to spend <laughs> a few days with my parents. <laughs> and my husband said, "You can't go. You have to spend." I mean, you, with your family, like your family. family, and 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 to tell you this, okay. So my traditional marriage was in November. My white wedding was in December. I'm talking about the Christmas between these two. So I was traditionally married, but I was not, you know, married in the church yet. He said I can't go to my parents' house and sleep over because he had paid my bride price. I had to spend it with them. So we, we negotiated after you know talk, talk. much beg you negotiated I could spend two nights with them after the like on the thirtieth of December I could go and spend two nights with them. I mean that that, that would I have couldn't been, understand that I, I couldn't know, go to I, I mean know. my siblings were at home with their families. Yeah. Could I just enjoy no enjoy. <laughs> so you have a new family now, you have to get used to stay with your new family and it was wow. a big hit on my face because yeah, when I was getting married I knew I was going to have a new family by you. I didn't think of Christmas. I've always spent Christmas with my family. So that was wow. one, one shock. I'm not sure if it was the first, but yeah. it was a shocker. And that, that, that's a shocker. I, I know one of my friends told me, like, her parents' house is in the same state mm-hmm. with her husband. Like, it's not so far. Like, you could take a 500 naira cab to the place. But if she goes there first to visit, her parents for going to have parents her parents in laws house. That it's a big problem. Not for her husband, but, but her is. parents. And I'm like, Jesus. Because that's your new home is it's your, your friend. I'm like, your parents in laws home. Christ. That's your new home. Wow. Wow. A few days ago I went um, to see them in the state where both of them are and my dad kept calling when I was on my way and have you gotten here? So I might see you today. So I'm like, I have to, you know, I have to get home first. Yes, I and you have to get home. You know, I have to get home, home. home before I come see you. And well, it, get, it gets easier. But, yeah, it does. But really, it was a shock. So, young girls, please, before you get married, know that. You know that you are really married at home. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, it's April right now. Yeah, April. Okay, no, like April right now. And I'm already booking for days to spend with my parents. Ahead of time. <laughs> Ahead of time. I said hinting it that you 27, 28, I may not be, you know, well. Uh, yeah, um, I think understanding, um, trust, respect. Respect is important. Respect. So even if you're going to say, something mean say respectfully i don't know if you're going to correct somebody's flaws you know say we respect so that the person doesn't see you as nagging yeah. you know so yeah. and this respect is actually both ways like, yes both ways he should respect me i i should respect him i don't like we have to respect each other and i hear that men their their um, love to them is respect yes like Mm-hmm. You, you, they, they are not into their love, their love, but ladies, they are different. They, they love, it's not like they don't love love, but the way you communicate love to them is the way you respect them. To them, it's through the respect you give to them. But ladies, we always love, right? I think, yeah. Yeah, it's funny so, you should say this when yeah. we're dating, like, I think way back before we got married, he bought me a book called Love and Respect. <laughs> He got a just telling you. You are sending his message softly. This was amazing. This was what that was. I need to so you know be reading this and love and respect. So yeah. in that book, he explains that um, you know women are all about the whole love of flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men are all about respect. You know whatever you do, just do respectfully. Yeah. Don't embarrass them outside. Yeah. Yeah. You know, their ego is important to them. Yeah. 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 I agree. 
um, I think if you do the same things every day, it gets boring at some point. So spice things up. Mm -hmm. Just give, give us some spice. <laughs> so, <laughs> for example, maybe you have a routine food menu that he's used to. He just knows that if he comes back on Saturday night, it's more more answer that he knows already. Um, is a routine and it could be boring if it's the same thing every day. I I tell friends of mine when we're on leave or when we're on a holiday, learn a new recipe on YouTube. Yeah. Try something new. Not everybody likes change, but you have to understand the person you're with. Right? Understand your your man, your husband, and um, if he's if he's okay to change, do you know change? Change things in the bedroom. Change, Sometimes don't change, change things in, <laughs> in the kitchen. Change things in the kitchen. You know. Sometimes just wake up and say I'm taking you out today. Do the yeah. take out. Surprise him yeah. at work. Take him to lunch. I don't have that um, opportunity because I'm I'm a teacher and we don't take lunch outside the school compound. So I can't surprise him at work to take him to lunch. But whenever we're on mid term break, I do that. I do that at least break is usually one week i do that at least one day in that one week i surprise him at his office and take him to lunch i mean you still come back dining and eat dinner at your house but, yeah, you, but know, you just that is things to see. just make things different so your marriage becomes so it won't be same. boring it's the same yeah. thing i mean we are just five years we have forever to go I think if god blesses us with long life it's forever yeah it's a very very long yeah. time so so, yeah. You can't be doing the same things over. Yeah. The children will leave the house pretty soon and you'll be looking into each other's faces. I'm telling you. So we both he's um he pretty much puts his emotion to check. He he doesn't speak when he's angry and I've learned that from him. I used to, but um now I've learned that if you're angry, you can just walk out of the room. You don't have to speak then, because yeah. whatever you say when you're angry can be can be retrieved. Can be said. Exactly. Yeah. And um, decisions you make when you're angry too, you know, can you know they could change a lot of things. Yeah. So we try to not speak or not make any decision at that moment. You know, just cool off. That you walk to the other room or something, and then we talk about it before we go to bed so that it's not lingering the next morning. Yeah, I find out that uh, for my husband, when I you know wait, sit him down and talk to him like I'm having a normal conversation, but I'm trying to resolve a conflict, he, he listens better. But if, you, if you're shouting it, it's not going to be anywhere, yeah. yeah like, so, yeah, just. This that has worked for us. We we don't go to bed angry. angry. My mother told me if I got married that anger shouldn't be the reason I sleep in another room. I agree. So, so for no reason do yeah. I say I can't I can't handle yeah. it today. I want to sleep in my yeah. room. I want to sleep on the couch. So yeah. I, I I love that advice. Like it's very important. So I rather sleep on the same bed, but you know, yeah, yeah, myself, yeah. You know, yeah. So, but don't move to the other room because you're angry. You can't stand the person. No, don't sleep in the other room till the next day. Before you start sleeping the next ten years. <laughs> okay. It would be ideal for me to say God because I mean he's the rock. Yeah. Yeah. But I would also say trust and respect. For me, I would say, I would say God, of course, because, oh, you don't even know how much you need God. You need God because the realities of life would test you. So you need God. Then, communication is also very important. Yeah, communication. communication. So I like when you said communication because yeah. really, if, I mean, nobody is psychic. I can't imagine, I can't. I can't guess what is in your head. If you don't say it. I used to do that before, you know. I'm angry about something and I don't talk about it. Yeah. And I expect him to understand. understand I mean, but he's yeah. not he's not a witch, you know. He will not get it. it. Yeah. I have to say you have to communicate to him, so it. To and what I've learned too about marriage is that I I've I've learned to prepare forgiveness, first of all, like I just forgive you. Because most times when you guys even disagree about something. Your spouse's intention is pure. Yeah. It's not that he planned to annoy you. So when you look at it from that, like that okay, maybe his action, the way he portrayed it was not the right way, but his intention is actually pure. 
Because just as you think you're right, he yeah. thinks he's right. Yeah. So. so you would you would chill. You would also say, so you did this, you would be like, you really chill. Um, I hear the first year of the ma of marriage is the hardest. Yeah, what's it for you though? No. What's it I don't even know where my first year went. <laughs> I, I know. You know I, know. I, I adjusted really well. Apart yeah. from that Christmas that I think mm -hmm. every other thing went smoothly. Um funny you should call it saga. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what they call it? <laughs> I'm like jeez. <laughs> yeah. But really, um newlyweds, you, you must understand that you have left your own home and he has left his own home and you are building a home. He cannot be your father. So if you keep comparing him to what you're used to, mm. you know, um, she cannot be your mother. If you keep comparing her to what you're used to, you're building a new home. People are starting at first. So it should yeah. just be about you too. Don't, you know, go reporting and don't go, you know, as long as nobody is dying. Exactly. I, I totally Please agree. just, you know, manage it within, um, both between both of you. Yeah, she's either hard because you shouldn't like. I, I, I agree, except it's a near death, then or it is not near death, but if you think your life is a stake, yeah, please. And yeah. if you can help it in your first year of marriage, let's just be both of you, mother in law, stay in your house, you know, just let it be both of you, let them. You know, stand on their feet yeah, before you come around. Yeah, let them get around. to know themselves. This is go home. Yeah, but you know what? That 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 topic is another big topic because some people can help you. Maybe their parents are yeah. ill and stuff. But if you can help it, if you can help it, and and if we should just throw this out to 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 guys, well, <laughs> you should if you can't help it, you should always. Even just support her because it's a lot for her. You know, I, I feel when ladies are moving out of their house, they're like, ah, thank God I've left my mom. Tell us then you're moving and you're staying with your mother and you're like, I say it's almost like you have your husband to respect. You have your mother in to respect. You have your husband to do this for. You have your mother, you have your girls. You have so many people. So, like, I totally agree that you shouldn't live together. But if that is the case, then the husband should support the spouse and wife. I, I, I don't know if this would be wrong, wrong to say. Wives, please. Don't. Don't fight with your mother-in-law. I don't know how to say. I, I don't. I want to say. Don't fight with your mother-in-law. It's not a competition. Yes, and don't report. Don't always report your mother if you, you are in that situation. Don't always report your mother-in-law to your husband or to because his mom. This is mom now. Like there are things I can say about my mom to my husband, and it's fine. But he shouldn't. <laughs> Do you understand? Like it's his mom, so you, you have to. God will give you this stuff. <laughs> you have to just be careful how you. There's no manual. There's no yeah. right or wrong way. Yeah. You don't have it perfect either. Yeah. So yeah. We're all learning. Yeah. Just be wisdom is key here. <laughs> wisdom is key. Sometimes diplomacy. As in, as in, <laughs> become a politician in your own I'm home. telling you, you just have to, you just yeah. have to take it easy. I remember my friend had to move, move back. There was something she told me and I will not forget. She had to move back from where she was because she was based abroad and her husband was based in Nigeria and was running his family business and she had to move back. And it was hard for her because she was only used to the life of working and the guy was here in Nigeria. And she said, babe, there's no need to fight it. She said, just be telling him what, as in just be telling him a little, as in tell him small, small, just telling him little by little. He said, one day he will tell you what you've been telling him. <laughs> and he would so he's, he's think, listening. Yeah, he would think that he came up with it. So, yeah. Thank you, Jide Kenny, for before and after I do the series. I am so excited and I can't wait for all the ladies to see this video. So thank you very much, Jide Kenny. Thank you I for having you. me. I love you too. <laughs> Alright, take care.
Alright, talk to you guys soon. Bye.